Hey guys, Jing here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to talk about my general approach on doing color studies. Usually I paint in black and white first, so this is an exercise that I usually do to sharpen my eye when it comes to selecting colors plus value at the same time. And I practice that by doing still life studies such as this pickle on a stick here, courtesy of the food paint challenge on Instagram. I always like to get rid of the cold white color first on the canvas. That way it's not too sharp on the eyes. I would typically go for a light neutral tone just so it's not too hard to look at. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the silhouette of the pickle correctly. It doesn't really have to be 120% accurate. Just getting the overall gesture of the pickle. I'll get the shading or the modeling factor that I have discussed in my previous rendering video. If you look closely, there is a bit of a red in the shadow area of the pickle. Generally, I tend to notice that the shadow color tends to complement the lit area of the object. Then I'll dive into the bumps or the stipples of the cucumber. Details like these tend to add character to this otherwise very plain subject. Adding in some highlights for the reflective part of the cucumber automatically pops the subject out of the canvas and therefore sells the form effectively. It seems like this light source is coming from a window outside. There's a hint of the blue sky and a warmer ground plane. I'll also try to get some light into the nooks and crannies here as well to contrast the stipples. An important note to remember is to work all around the canvas. Painting in one area too long is just a recipe for disaster. The key is to paint one area at a time, and slowly the painting resolves itself like a jigsaw puzzle. Here I'm indicating some reflective light at the back of the cucumber so that the shadow part doesn't look too flat. I keep in mind that there are still wrinkly lumps on the surface even though it's on the shadow side, so I paint my brush strokes by wrapping or curving around the form. Okay, now is a good time to work on these wooden skewers. An easy trick to do is to paint in textural wood grains, but still keeping it simple, because I still want the main focus to be on the cucumber itself. And there you have it, a crash course on painting a simple still life. Also, if you're interested in booking a more in-depth digital painting class with me, I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions in Zoom. Sessions can be divided and catered depending on your requirement and focus. Some of the topics ranging from beginner to advanced include introduction to painting softwares like Procreate, Photoshop, and Clip Studio Paint, drawing in Disney or Saturday morning cartoons, how to approach character design in different styles, or art fundamentals such as still life painting. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, hit the like and subscribe button. For any class inquiries or what you would like to learn from me, you can reach me on my email in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.